Hi everyone, this is Aaron, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock the HTC HD7. And the reason you might want to do that is for, uh, well, my reason, I have an iPhone 4. I want to use the SIM in here, in here. And to do that, um, I need to unlock it. So, you can unlock this free of charge from T-Mobile if you have a T-Mobile account and you have purchased this outright like I have. I bought it on Craigslist, actually. Uh, you can buy it on eBay and, um, or, or anywhere else. You can buy it outright from T-Mobile. And so what you can do is turn it on, go to uh, your phone, and right now I have no SIM card in it, go to the dialer and you want to dial star pound zero six pound. This will retrieve your IMEI number. You can do this on any phone dial pad and it will pull that number on a GSM phone. So once you have this number, if you, want, if you don't mind waiting, it took me eight days to get my code from T-Mobile, but if you don't mind waiting, get that number, contact T-Mobile, and ask them for the code. As long as you have an account or a prepaid account, which is what I have, uh, they'll give it to you for free. It may take some time, like I said, eight days, but you will get it for free. I did get it back. So now that we have that number, what we need to do is shut down the phone. That number can also be retrieved on the back of the box, which is here, um, or when we take the back off of this, it's actually under the battery as well. So any way you can get that number, just make sure you have it perfect. Because if the number is wrong and you get the wrong unlock code back, uh, you can't unlock the device with it and you try it five times, you'll lock down your device for good. So don't, uh, uh, just make sure you've got it perfect. Now what I'm going to do is remove my SIM card from my iPhone 4 with my handy paper clip here. There we go. Pop that out. And Let's go ahead and I made an adapter because this is a micro SIM and this phone takes a regular SIM. This is basically just cut out from an old SIM I had laying around. Um, I cut it out, cut out, I traced around and cut out the, uh, the SIM card and it seems to work just fine. So it does take a little bit of, there we go. We get it in there like that, put our battery in, put our cover back on. Now T-Mobile sent me an email like I said power on the phone and what it's going to do is boot up and say hey you don't have a, the, the right sim for this network we need your unlock code or you need to put in the correct sim so it's going to take a moment let it boot and uh, when it does we'll be able to enter that code I got that code via an email for any that might be curious put my paper clip away there we go now the only disadvantage to this is because in the United States the frequencies are different uh, you cannot use 3G on this phone. So, let's put in our code. It says pin accepted. Now it's unlocked. So it's going to take a moment and it should give me a connection in a minute. It may give me a 2G, but there we go. I've got bars. and I have a signal and you can see it says E for edge and so now I've, I'm unlocked I can use the phone so that's pretty much it you can do that on any HTC device it's very similar and any Windows Phone 7 device is very similar um, so that's pretty much it if you have any questions please feel free to contact me thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time